Another thing that we learn about worship is that to worship is to express. Last Sunday, we talked about this idea of this word of worship called worship in the New Testament. And throughout the Bible is the word proskuneo. It means to turn toward as though to kiss. It means to kneel down, to, to uh, get on our knees. It means that we are expressing something. We're not just simply saying words, that we are actually bowing down like the woman uh, you know, who uh, is washing Jesus's hair with her tears and drying them with her hair, that we are bowing down before him, that we are honoring him. And by doing so, we are expressing worship, that to worship is to express. And so I think in, in many cases, I think some, I've had people ask me, well, why is it that you raise your hands in worship? It's like, I can't do anything else. I have to express this love. I have to express this praise. I have to express this thanks. And, and raising my hands is one of the ways that the Bible says that that, that God likes it that when we when we when we praise him with our hands raised when we pray with our hands raised to worship is to express and so maybe I want to suggest something and if you're able to do this I want to ask that you would do this that you would uh, take the time and when you're going through those revelation songs on a daily basis I want to ask you if you can do it to kneel down to go to a place where you're by yourself and to kneel down, get down on your knees, bow before the Lord, and then begin to do this and focus your attention on him. You bow and you worship. And to bow is to worship. Really, here, here it is back again, Psalm 95, verse 6. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God our maker, that we're bowing down before him. We're giving him our all. We're, and by doing that, we are offering our worship to him. To worship is to express. So let's kneel down and let's understand how, how this works. And as you do, I think you'll find that, that as you kneel down, now your body and your words and your mind and your whole posture are all saying the same thing. And there's something powerful that happens when you express worship that way.